the way this book came about is I've always gotten a kick out of watching TV shows where you have the private detective who's got the fabulous sports car, the great office, the perfect hair, the wonderful mustache, and he gets hired by beautiful women on these interesting cases. Every woman he meets wants to sleep with him. When he's confronted by three syndicate hitmen, he has no trouble beating the crap out of them and then saying something witty afterwards. All these private eyes on TV, they get karate chopped in the back of the neck and they're knocked unconscious, and it's like a good nap. They wake up going, ah, and then they make love to the beautiful woman, or they get another fist fight. I thought it was all a bunch of baloney, that it, it was time to write a private eye novel set in the real world. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun if, if I had a private eye who learned everything he knows about being a private eye from watching television and reading books? who discovers that everything he thinks he knows about being a private eye is dead wrong. Harvey Mapes is a security guard in a gated community in Camarillo who spends his days watching Hawaii Five-0 and Rockford Files and reading Robert Parker novels, dreaming of what it would be like if he were a private eye instead of a, a low-end security guard. And out of nowhere, one of the residents in the community drives down to the guard gate and says, Harvey, would you do me a favor? Would you follow my wife? And Harvey is like, hell yes! It's all of his detective fantasies come true. It's an opportunity to take all the things he's learned from Spencer and Mannix and Magnum and Rockford and put them to use. But he soon discovers that the line between reality and fiction is a minefield. That there's a huge difference between what's on TV and in, on the printed page and what you encounter in real life. In reality, if you are knocked unconscious, it's a concussion. You've, had a, you've bruised your brain. While you're unconscious, you've lost control of your sphincters. When you wake up, you're going to have double vision. No woman is going to want to make love to a guy who's got a load in his pants and is, is seeing triple. Uh, it's just it's ridiculous. While there is comedy, while there is funny situations, he also discovers that unlike television and film, there's a human price. There's real pain and real suffering and, and that bad guys are not black and white. People don't set out to be bad guys. They have the same concerns that we all do, that it's not so clear cut who's good and who's evil. It's not always syndicate hitmen and turtleneck uh, sweaters coming after you in, in Chrysler sedans. It's not the way it is on, on Mannix and, and, and Magnum PI. So Harvey has to, has to grow, has to become somebody else.